After seeing the exquisite club classic Dave Das, I was curious to know more about its maker. So tonight for a personal rendezvous, I've invited the man who created this masterpiece and the lady whose name he carries, Leela, his mother. The sensitive genius, Sanjay Leela Bansali. Sanjay, you look so elegant in this. You should wear it a lot more often. I am very uncomfortable with these clothes because <laughs> I want to always sit with my feet up and I'm uh, uh, here sitting in front of this elegant lady and I have to sit completely formal. So there I am in this suit and all, but sitting in front of you, I feel good. But thank you for taking the trouble of <laughs> making an effort for us. Yeah. Your film haunts me. You know, I still have not been able to get it out of my mind. Are you now satiated with all the praise and the acclaim pouring in? Yeah, in a way calm. Because calm. I feel that Devdas uh, generated a lot more response than I'd expected. A lot of praises, a lot of criticism. The fact that it got made and was shown in the theatres, that itself is an achievement for all of us. Uh, the fact that it's a very, very big commercial success, that makes you even more satisfied. And yes, I feel calm that one more dream fulfilled in life. I hope you realise that you have single-handedly ruined the Hindi film industry. In the sense? Because after Dev Das, every other film looks so pika. <laughs> you know, it seems so inane. Yeah, I think Devdas is, uh, is, is more uh, in the genre of what uh, Raj Kapoor Saab did. I made this film every minute thinking how Raj Kapoor would make this film. Is that right? How would he uh, uh, attack a scene? Now, what are the kind of colours? What are the kind of sets he makes? How does he shoot songs? So, I told Mrs. Raj Kapoor also when I met her at the Khan Festival, I said, every minute I've made this, remembering this man, and I hope he's somewhere proud of me. But may I say, uh, I mean, I've seen all, all of Raji's films and I've loved them, but this is very much a Sanjay Leela Bansali film. It, yeah. has, it has your stamp. Yes, you have to take it ahead of, it is. of, the, of the inspiration that you... I uh, won't call it a Raj Kapoor film. Uh, doesn't it look like a Raj Kapoor film to you? A I lot of people, I wish, I mean, I, I would feel more satisfied if somebody did mention well, it. Well, I'll tell you why it doesn't. Because there is no uh, erotic element at whatsoever in your film. Yeah, it's I've, very romantic. I've dwelt more on the sensuality rather than the... That's erotic. right. I think that's but Raji difference. wouldn't have resisted that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel that, you know, the way I saw women in this film, mm. I feel that, you know, they were the images of Durga for me. Mm. And I think a woman is all about power. Yes. They wore their anguish, but the man broke. <laughs> Aishwarya was just mind blowing. Aishwarya and me uh, have a terrific relationship. It's it's about how to uh, how an actor and director should vibe. Really? Because I really love her a lot. Mm. I hate her a lot also. We have a lot of differences of opinion. She's a very strong-headed girl, and I'm an extremely strong-headed man. But I think after Khamoshi, with me uh, having a flop to my credit, box office-wise, it wanted to prove something, and she with her four flops that she had before it, the way we bonded together in Hamdil Dej Salam, to want to be winners absolutely, yeah. to go for it. And I think somewhere that bonding continues. Yes. And I would have been a very uh, deprived if, if Ashwari was not there. But she said that you squeezed every drop from the actors and she was, <laughs> she was drained from the experience. Yes, I feel she had to uh, suffer inside. Yeah. There was a lot of personal life reflecting in her work at that point of time. But with Aishwarya, it is, it's all about uh, trying to tap, tap the right chord in her. She's a very, very intelligent girl. Very intelligent. You've worked with two very, very intelligent stars. Does that make a difference, you feel? A lot. Because, you know, they, they take that note from you and they can make it 100 times better. For example, if I'm doing Shah Rukh scene where he comes for his father's uh, shrad, yeah. 
when he comes drunk and, and the mm. whole community is sitting over there. One day prior to that, we were discussing. He said, you know, I remember my father coming for my grandmother's death completely drunk. He was completely yeah. stoned. And he, and he fell near the body and the whole community was sitting over there. And then he uh, uh, took over and said, I had a friend who's, who, you know, okay. who, who came and spoke to the mother like, like it's a stranger talking to, uh, to the mother. Bad bad. So I was very, very privileged to have worked with a person mm. like you. You know, after seeing your film, I really am curious about you and I want to try and understand you as a person. The sensitivities that went into making a film like this. You've said, I'm a very simple guy, but with a very complex mind. I make no demands from life. No expectations either. I am, I am a very simple person. I don't understand myself completely. Yeah. I have shades of anger, complete anger. I have yeah. shades of complete uh, quietness. I have shades of complete purity at times. Yeah. Sometimes I am very, very evil. But we all are a bundle of all these things together. How can you have no expectations? What expectations can I have from life? I do not want anything in life. I do not want to give life anything. I just want to make movies, that's all. And I pursue the dream. I do not have any other expectations. You have no expectations of people? No. I do not know many people in life. If I have to say honestly to you, if I know anybody, I only know my mother very well. So out of choice, you have no friends, no social circle? I get very uncomfortable, restless with people around. I want to be left alone. I want to be, I want to be just there. You don't want to get to know another human being? I have tried to. I have not had very, very good experiences, so I don't want to know many more human beings. I want to be... There's a lot of chatter in my mind. There's a lot of chaos in my mm. mind. Because I think I realized today when I look back that I live with a huge past on my head. It's, mm. it's like a baggage. It's my, my head hurts with the baggage. Have you been disappointed by people? A lot of times. You have to have been. <laughs> a lot of times. Have you, have you become cynical? A no, bit. no. I feel pure. I don't feel cynical. You make the most romantic films. Are you also a complete romantic? I think it's the lack of romance in my life that wants me to achieve excellence mm. in the romance that I finally show on screen. Mm. I want to experience all that I have not experienced in life through my work. That's when the magic unfolds. Mm. And then I'm not answerable. They don't come as burden. Those moments don't come as burden to me in, in real life. Mm. Actually, the best romance is usually in the mind, Sanjay, yes, they say. Yes, yes. Because then it can go anywhere you want to go. Absolutely. But is, is there no one that you've littered the air for? Yes. But uh, it's past, it's over, and uh, it is. Uh, not important anymore. So the dia has gone out? No, I don't. I have started loving life a lot more than uh, loving just one human being. It is not important for me to love only one person. So it is, it's over, it's past. It's, it's something that has changed me a lot. It has mm. uh, not made me bitter, but changed me, made me angry, made me more uh, uh, aware of, of the fact that, yes, I was right. I did not have to relate to people. I don't want to relate to people. So I'm very happy. Can you carry on like this? I think so. I've carried on for 38 years of my life. I will for another 38, I think. You've said that a lot of personal things matter to you in Devdas. It wasn't just taking a novel and making it into a film for you. Yes. I think Devdas started off at the moment when my father died. Uh, he was an alcoholic and he died of cirrhosis. And my mother and he did not necessarily get along very well all the years that I had seen them together. But in that dying moment, he came out of a state of coma and stretched out his hand to my mother. It was one moment of 
reaching out and holding and he was gone. And maybe I realized that, you know, my mother sacrificed 22 years of her life maybe for this one moment. Just for this one moment. That is what fascinated me. Mm. So that is where Devdas starts. You said your father was an alcoholic. How come he became one? He was a film producer. Mm. Uh, he had made films before we were born. Uh, Jazi Lutera and Park Taman and films which I have never seen. And so there were lots of financial problems. And slowly, 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 things started deteriorating. And he found solace in that, in the alcohol, which was like Devdas, that you can't, wanting to run away from reality, mm. but you can't. So how old were you when he started drinking? Ever since I was born, I think I've seen him drink. Oh, you've only seen him yeah, drinking. drinking. So it was for us, it was living in a house which uh, had a lot of violence around. Yeah. Oh. All that was being expressed to us as children, whatever we saw, was, was anguish against life, was bitterness against mm. life, was no, anger sense. against life. Mm. My mother and me, uh, my sister and me, we had to bear the brunt of it. Was he ever violent with you? Uh, he's never hit us, but he was a violent man, very, very, very violent. Yeah. I feel that what the, the motive that I used to give us about being whipped is something that has stayed in my mind. Not that he ever whipped us, but that's how we felt as children. So in a way he was like Devdas, but he was also like Devdas' his father. father. Yeah, you know, these are all uh, layers mm -hmm. that get... He's like Nana Patekar in Khamushi, mm -hmm. breaking records in the house. Mm -hmm. Throwing the record player out in his moment of, mm -hmm. of anger. We look at it very simply and say, well, he broke all my records. Yeah. He took away all the music from me. But then he would be again with the same man who would say, Mughal Azam, mm -hmm. come on. Here, Bade Ghulam Ali Khan sahab. You know, we all carry pictures of our parents in our psyche. Yeah. What sort of images come to mind when you think of your father? Of a broken man. Of a man who uh, realized it was too late. You know, I can see him sitting in this chair with his drink at 4.30 in the morning, talking to his dog. And uh, that is what stays in my mind. What sort of a relationship did you have with him, Sanjay? Uh, not a good one at all. Like? I think it was a very incomplete relationship. It was, it was something that I could never understand him. He could never understand me. Mm. So I would always say, whatever you're saying, whatever you're doing is wrong. You used to tell him. Yeah, because I always was uh, in complete disagreement with what he was doing with his life. Was he a dominating? Very dominating, very powerful, very overpowering kind of a person. Oh. And, uh, were you in a way frightened of him? Yes, a lot. You were frightened yes, of him? Uh, of what he would do, of the kind of violence that he could suddenly yeah. uh, open up with in the house. So, you know, you start going into a shell. There were money lenders who were always at the house. Right. And if we would have to go to a social wedding with him, we would always be looked down upon because he was a man who would be either drunk oh, or gosh. would not want to. So I always wanted to run away from people. Tell me, Sanjay, did you seek his approval? yearn for his approval? No, we had no interaction. And I knew deep down that anything that I would do would be disapproved by. So you always got disapproval? Yeah. You never got approval? No. I don't even think he even knew which standard I was studying, you know, which school I was going or what I was doing. So I don't think mm. there was any interaction between us for as far as approval was concerned mm. or disapproval was concerned. So while he was alive, the relationship was not resolved? No. At all? No. I even asked him till the last, on his one day before he died, I said, Dad, who do you love more? Do you love me? Do you love, uh, do you love Bela a lot? And he says, obviously, I love Bela a lot. So it was... He said that? Yeah, it was maybe his way of saying it. You know, I realize that, you know, you've just been reaching out to him all these years, because in Ham Dil De Chuke Sanam, the first words that appear on screen are, Father, please come and hold me. I want to speak to you. Yeah. Now I know what that means. <laughs> it doesn't mean anything anymore. It, it, life moves on and I don't know if things are reaching out to him, but, but you continue. You have to go on. Have you buried the ghosts? Can I, can I, how can you bury it? You know, the mind doesn't let you bury it. The process doesn't stop with death.
Thank you, Leela Ji. You know, I'm honored to have you here. Thank you very much. That Sanjay has taken on your name. It's a sign that your relationship is so deep. How does it make you feel? Very proud because in this time, no one will be able to take the mother's name. So I'm feeling very great. Sanjay, when did you do this? The first time the name came on screen, I think that was in uh, Parinda. And they said, what is the name you write? So I said, well, I want the whole name, Leela Bansalis. So since then. What made you do it? I feel it's my way of saying thanks to the woman who's done so much for me. Uh, and you know, to, to be able to say thank you to a mother for any son or any daughter in this world is not enough. Especially my mother, the kind of things she did for us. And without ever making us feel uh, 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 burdened of her sacrifices or anything, just yeah. casually. It's not me only. All mothers are ready to do anything for their children. You told Sanjay long ago, okay, the dreams are yours, the nightmares are mine. Is that how it's been? It's all by the grace of God. He has given me strength to bring them up. She had no time to dream in the first place because all the hardships that came to us were looked after by her. Mm -hmm. All the problems were solved by her so that we could study properly, we could move ahead in life, we could achieve what we wanted to, irrespective of what she had to go through. You know, while we dreamt in the night that tomorrow I'll get up and do this and I'll achieve this in life, where was it going to come from? It was coming from some lady's hardships. So, Sara, Boj and Sari Zimadariya, you have taken your own. कैसे किया ये शाम को जाके साड़ीज लेके आते थे हमलोग दुकान से और रात तक बैठ के फॉल लगाते थे और सब स्कूल में लेने को जाती थी मैं उनको छोटे थे जब तो आते आते वो सोप के लिए जाती थी मैं अगर किसी को पैकेट मंगता तो एक पैकेट के पीछे मुझे चार आना मिलता था पर कभी कुछ ऐसे दिन भी आते होंगे जब और आपके हस्बैंड क्या करते थे जब आप काम कर रहे थे? He didn't mind what? क्या? No, he never used to take any responsibility. उनको मालूम था कि ये सब हो रहा है। I'm not helping them. अंदर से उनको मालूम था। But फिर भी बिंदास। But my mother-in-law, she has helped me too much. And my younger sister-in-law. तो कहाँ रहते थे आप? Buleshwar के पास। Nal Bazaar, you know, only one small room it was. So you, Bela, your mother-in-law, your husband. Husband and two dogs. And two dogs. Yes, boxer, my boxer Jenny was there. Her father was very fond of dogs, so he would have to go and get a dog. So we all were there. So it was a very difficult place to live in. It was a chawl. It was crowded, but very, very. Suffocating, very suffocating, and I wanted to leave that place like mad. However harsh it sounds, I realized that whenever I would be dreaming, there could be a rat and cockroach crawling over me. You'd never know. आपके मन में कभी घबराहट थी कि कल क्या होगा? हम लोग इस मुसीबत से कैसे निकलेंगे? आपने कभी ऐसे सोचा? घबराहट तो वैसे तो थी, लेकिन फिर भी मन मेरा बहुत मजबूत था. I was always smiling. I never thought that I am suffering from all this hard life and this and that. I have to face it. So you have to fight your hard life. So तो चिंता थी घबराहट करके भी मैं क्या करती थी? मैं चिंता थी मन में? चिंता तो ये दोनों बच्चे को बड़े करने का, उनका सब education से लगके सब उनका तो आपने ये चिंता, ये घबराहट इन इनसे छुपाई थी कि उनको तो मालूम था ये सब they are they have stood by my side that is the main I am happy that they have stood by my side तो इनको बुरा ऐसा आसान उन लोगों ने कभी जिद नहीं किया कि हमको ये मंगता है हमको ये मंगता है we want that was never there आपके लिए बहुत जरूरी था कि they have a good education father was telling me put them in Gujarati municipality school but I never said no they will go in English medium whatever I have to do, I will do, but they will go in English medium. But tell me something, in all this turmoil, were there happy times as well? Absolutely. I will I still remember moments of magic that would be where we would switch on the radio and mom would dance for us in that small <laughs> house. Impromptu. Absolutely. And she would sing always while cooking. And then we would all <laughs> join with her. We would all join and we'd all sing and dance. And I feel that that image of my mother dancing in the house has is the most endearing moment of that house. But Alila ji, you were an artist. You were on stage and danced on stage and used to sing. Yes, sing also sometimes. It's more of a dance. Have you ever worked in films? I've given a song in the film. I've given a song in the film. 
नाम तो मैं भूल गई हूँ लेकिन एक गाना ही है वट इज यू थिंक ऑफ देवदास हाँ मैंने छह बार देखी <laughs> और अभी भी मैं बोली ना मैंने तीन बार देखी इट्स वेरी नाइस वेरी नाइस इट्स नॉट बिकॉज इट इज संजय फिल्म बट यू कुछ झलक मिली आपको अपनी पर्सनल लाइफ से ये पीने का जो उनका शुरू होता है शाहरुख का hmm. और ये एट द डेथ टाइम में वो जो हाथ आगे करता है वो तो दैट इज He was saying that was the first time. Hmm. That's what Kabhi bothered me. That all his life he could not express it. झगड़ा भी होता था ना सीमी जी झगड़ा भी होता था. आपने कैसे सब सबर किया? There were many times when we told her that mom, you know, I think we should leave. Yeah, we should yeah. move yeah. out. We should go yeah. ahead and live our life. But she felt that no, I don't want to leave this but man. I love this man. I love me very much, but I don't know. Bela, I'm just telling you that he had gangrene at the yeah. end. Mm. and they couldn't give anesthesia no. so they had to scrape his foot without anesthesia which is so painful, painful. and the only way he bore that pain was by constantly saying her name yeah. leela yeah. leela in the hospital i did tell him i said you know it's too late for you to call out for this name dad i said dad you know you could have done this earlier now at least don't because this sound yeah. is bothering us you're constantly screaming out her name it is constantly bothering me and it was one of those moments which i will always regret in my life because after all he was my father but you're also a human being and you have feelings true you have every right to your feelings true. as well lekin you know leela ji aapko dekh kar pata nahi chalta ki aap par kya beeti hai in that sense aap you know look at her she's always smiling yes. or khush mizaj yes. hai i have got many health problems also but i don't think of that i am all right i'm fit i'm going to That's do what, what i want i dance i dance with sharu for one and half hour in <laughs> kans <laughs> Really? उधर वो एक रेस्टोरेंट में गए थे हम लोग बाउलिन सम रेस्टोरेंट में बसते हैं। He took me come on auntie we will dance. Oh wow. Him, no problem. <laughs> auntie you are tired? No I am not tired. <laughs> and सब लोग उधर देखने को खड़े हो गए। Auntie is dancing only with and collapse. his face his face was like this. <laughs> I said don't Lovely. worry nothing is going to so as I good as the dance you saw in front of when the radio was on it. Yes too. absolutely. तो जब आप देखते हैं कि आपके दोनों बच्चों ने दुनिया में नाम कमाया है सफलता प्राप्त की तो हाउ डज इट मेक यू फील आई फील वेरी ग्रेट वेरी वेरी ग्रेट एंड आई फॉरगेट ऑल माय डिफिकल्टीज व्हिच आई हैव गॉन थ्रू एंड ऐसा लगता है जैसे मैंने आसमान को छू लिया एंड सी नाउ गॉड इज हेल्प अस वी आर वे वी वर इन वन रूम केम इन वन बेडरूम हॉल एंड नाउ वी आर शिफ्टिंग टू अदर प्लेस विद गॉड्स ग्रेस बट संजय डू एवर रियलाइज दैट योर लाइफ्स कुड हैव बीन कंप्लीटली डिफरेंट या वी कुड हैव गॉन द रॉन्ग वे कंप्लीटली You would have been completely in some juvenile uh, delinquent camp knew. somewhere, maybe uh-huh. in some some drug addict somewhere in life. If mom wasn't there, yeah. And now we are friends, not mother. Yes. And now we are friends now. <laughs> <laughs> See the power of a woman, the shakti of a mother. She can change her her children's destiny, her child's destiny. Absolutely. I salute you, ma'am. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. And Sanjay, you have. not one but a thousand reasons to feel proud of your work and yourself thank you for this rendezvous